Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975. This is Chevy Chase on Sinclair ZX Spectrum, released by High Tech Software in 1991. It's a budget title, and it was released for two pounds ninety-nine. It's a uh, well, fake sprite scaling racer where you drive a bunch of uh, Chevrolets, I guess. Hence the fact that it's called Chevy Chase. See what they did there. Chevy Chase, Chevy Chase, as in, you know, lampoons. I don't know. Maybe they thought it would sell more. It's kind of funny, though, I guess. Right, let's get into it. It was, I think it got quite good reviews. Well, people were more lenient on games like this because they're budget tiles. But it does bring something to the park that lots of um, full, you know, price games, driving games, did or didn't do. Now, there's no denying stuff like Chase HQ is absolutely amazing, but it didn't have colour on the screen. I Maybe you could argue because it was doing too much other stuff but pretty much all the high you know all the, the, the arcade ports and full price games like that um outrun afterburner stuff like that that's not driving but you know what i mean sprite scaling didn't have color this does right uh o left or p right to view color so blue green red we gotta go with red um okay so then q uh or a to up or down basically to what cars we got I don't know what the difference is, it doesn't give me performance options. I had one quick go just now, a bunch of people have asked me to play this after I did the uh, Twin Turbo V8 game, which is another budget game that brought colour to it. But yeah, but there's no speed in it, or uh, speedometer, speedometer, because I'm British, it's not speedometer. Right, um, right, what is it? Uh, M to select, I like the way it goes with the Q up, A down, up, you right, M fire. My collect, uh, chile selection, fucking hell, uh, selection of keys, because they are the greatest ones ever. Now, High Tech Software was a budget house, but I'm struggling to remember anything else they released. But 1 to 8K, there we go, D to find keys, right, um, accelerates, Q, A, O, P, M, S, well, no, S is stark, I am, there you go, right. Bottom left hand screen is my steering wheel, it's on the wrong side of the car, or the correct side of the car because this is set in North America I'm guessing. Uh, bottom right score, high score time. Um, I'm sincerely doubting the speedo works, but gotta wait for it to tell me to start here. But yeah, so there's no attribute class whatsoever as far as I can tell on my car. I've got, um, yeah I've got shift. The stick moves. Now, one third of the screen is the Oh, there we go. Uh, my dash display. But Speedo does work! Shit, I just looked at it and that's why I almost cocked up. Which kind of, I guess that maybe that keeps while the speed is up and then it does just, you know, no attribute clash. Sprite is huge, does a good job. I don't know if there's any undulation, undulation I should say, of the road effects. Change down. But, yeah, it's quite impressive. One thing is very much apparent, I am impressed. Oh, no, shit, that's my box gone. Hey, that's what she said. Right. Yeah, is the road is tiny and very, very cramped. Much like driving one of these old school, you know, 60s, 70s, um, you know, American cars on the actual road around my neck of the woods. There we go. Uh, is there time? Is there any indication of who I've just beat? How many people I have to beat? I made a video previously that is unlisted so that you won't be seeing it, but it was Denny Thompson's decathlon, so my hands are absolutely fucked now. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with this graphically. Like I said though, it's... Oh, aye, aye. Pay attention on the gears. Everyone else is in a, a Chevy, are they? They're not just a two... No, they're not. That looks like a fucking Lincoln. Um, yeah. Sorry, I lost my thread. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with this. Although, like I said, the roads are small, but you know, size isn't important apparently. Would I have paid full price for it? Probably not. I was playing Mega Drive games at this point. Oh. Yoink. Oh, there is time. Overtaking is a tad tricky. Are there any stages? Do I have to pass stage points? At a time. Probably out of petrol at this point in a, a wagon like that. I mean, if you played this, please let me know what you think. It is quite impressive. 
it's just like, it's, well, it's me sucking and using terms like, it's a cramped road to defend my awful driving skills. I'm assuming I pass something like that to, um, let me know I've reached the end of the stage, which is probably why, if you look how fucking low it is, there aren't any lorries on this road. Right, okay. We could just press fire and skip that. Stop cramping up, hands. Yeah, I was playing Daily Thompson's Decathlon, which is a keyboard basher. You'll see that video at one point. Actually made me sweat, but that's completely because it's hot and unrelated to this game. I think the road just scrolls left and right. Kind of like real roads, but yeah, it doesn't have any hills. At least they can't have eyes. See what I did then? Sorry. Right, there's two. It's great, you know, can, quite playable, as in when you chuck on your anchors, you don't actually like lose loads of speed and, you know, have to chuck on or chase gear, catch back up. Oh shit, see? Which is just as well, but if you do twat something, that's a different, I meant scenery more so than cars, that's a different ball game, kettle of fish, something. Of course, if I am in an old school Chevrolet, then whoever I hit, I just fucking drive right through them like a piece of paper. Maybe that's why everyone else on this road is in an old school wagon like me, because they're like, fuck am I getting hit by that? I've got kids who want to go to college and a future to think about. Right, it's like that bit in Back to the Future 2 when Mike says, why don't we just land on him in Crippling? Are you kidding? Although having said that, DeLoreans were stainless steel, so they'd hardly be like, you know... That fucked, I don't know. Don't know old school cars. Look, how do I get... No way! I can't get by them because they're blocking the fucking road. That was... That was... Maybe that's a flaw. Maybe I just can't fucking drive. Maybe I should get a white stick. Points for the quote. But, yeah. Maybe that's just because it's a budget game. Maybe I should shut the fuck up and just concentrate on driving. Right, we'll have one more go. I don't know. I'm assuming it changes colour. Maybe there's different effects on different... Well, tracks is probably too strong a descriptive term. But yeah, like I said, it's quite impressive. Again, think of the money. Won't someone please think of the children? Some undulation would have been nice. Mainly because I just like saying that word. It's a good word, I feel. Oh, stop cramping up, hand. I promise you we won't get to Danny Thompson's super test for at least another two weeks. Shouldn't be talking about games within games. That's like breaking the fourth wall, isn't it? In video gameplay commentary form, I think. I don't know. Like I said, the road could do with a little. The road could do with an extra fucking lane, to be perfectly honest. Maybe a carpool lane, and I'll just get someone in the car, like outrun, and then I can just drive down the outside. Doink. Now, if they all stay that spaced apart, I'm all right. I mean, I do like the smoke effects or the tire screeching effects. Yoink! I didn't hit the trees, Bill, are you honest? If you stay in low gear, you can still overtake them. I'm assuming it just affects whether or not you'll make it to the end of the track. Maybe there isn't one. Maybe it's the perfect con. Shit. Oh, no! Don't catch up with that bloke, because I can't get by. He is, he's going to be a dick. Yeah, that is a nice effect, up the tyre screeching. Hey! Ow, that's my hand. Ow, oh, my friggin' hand! So you want to stay as close as you can to the centre of the road. Look at me pissing along! But the problem with that is you can't get by people and they come up quite quickly when you go on that speed. And obviously the reason you want to stay there is the minute the road goes, you're just immediately out to the left or the right. When you're face finding trees and shit. Well, I wish I could have shown you another stage, but unfortunately that's the limit of my skills. I blame the car because the steering wheel's on the wrong side and I'm not used to driving automatics. And I'm sticking to that excuse. Anyway, uh, Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase? Chevy Chase. I don't know, I'm having a brain fart now. On ZX Spectrum. That's right.
to budget game. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.